If you used an iPhone or iPad before purchasing your first MacBook, then you may have been surprised when unboxing its charger, which is much larger than other devices. The reasons why has to do with power consumption, charging speed, heat, and design. The iPhone features a low power chip called the A16 Bionic, which doesn't need much power to operate. That means Apple can provide a charger that delivers a slower flow of electricity, but it has to transfer more power than the iPhone consumes in operation, or else there wouldn't be any extra electricity to charge the battery. 25 watts is the max speed that power can flow into the iPhone 14, so a 20 watt charger will deliver virtually the fastest charging possible. The iPad is a little different since it requires slightly more power and has a larger battery, which needs a much faster flow of electricity to charge at a reasonable speed. You could use the same 20 watt charger as the iPhone, but it'd take up to 10 and a half hours to fully charge. Instead, the larger 30 watt charger would top off the iPad in just two hours. Using the same logic, what happens when you need to power a MacBook Pro, which consumes much more power with a substantially larger battery? Well, you could use the iPad's 30 watt charger, but it would fill the MacBook Pro's battery so slowly that it could take days to fully charge. While being used, its battery would actually drain while plugged in. That's why Apple has to provide these high power devices with high power chargers, and that requires larger components inside to deliver 96 watts of electricity. But with higher wattage comes more heat, requiring a larger metal heat sink, which takes up more space. And Apple adds international compatibility to many of their chargers, which allows users to remove one country's plug and replace it with another. This also requires extra components, which makes the charger even bigger. That's why you won't see the feature on Apple's smaller chargers, since the product's compact size takes priority over compatibility. So those are the reasons why MacBook chargers are so big. Thanks for watching till the end, and I'll see you in the next video.